Rams players had brutal surprise for anti-American Raiders player on field after he sat for Anthem. Marshawn Lynch faced the peering eyes of football fans as the newly acquired Raider protested the national anthem before squaring up against the Rams in his second preseason game in a row. Not only was Lynch on the bench for most of the game, he was also sitting during the anthem. This is something he's claimed to do for 11 years, but there's no evidence that he has ever protested the national anthem. In fact, there is only evidence of Marshawn Lynch standing for the anthem. If he really sat for 11 years, then don't you think at least one hardcore NFL fan would have pointed that out? One does not protest for 11 years and not be noticed. If they do, then that's not very effective protesting, right? Marshawn Lynch saying he protested the national anthem for 11 years is fake news. Find me evidence that it's real, or shut up about that fake nonsense. I don't care if Lynch said it or not, it's not true. I asked Lynch, via Twitter, for an interview and he has not responded. Lynch suited up for his Raiders as they battled the Rams, but the Rams only gave up 10 yards to Lynch's two carries. That's not much for someone who calls himself beast mode and crushed the Saints with one of the greatest stiff arms ever known. Even though it's preseason, the Rams weren't giving much of anything on the ground. Lynch finished near the bottom of the stats line in regards to yards acquired, although gained the second highest average on the ground. Meaningless stats in a meaningless game. What's funny is that it may have been the Rams' second string that stuffed him, which doesn't bode well for Lynch's regular season hopes. A simple injury to a running back can cost them the year or their career. That's not the only thing that can cost an NFL star their career. Sitting for the national anthem can also cost a player their career. Take a look at Colin Pernick. He can't get a job right now when there are players like Mark Sanchez who have a job. Sanchez and similar backup quarterbacks are horrible NFL players, so if a still young and athletic Pernick can't even plan a backup job, then why not? I guess team owners don't want to deal with the baggage. One has to wonder how long Raiders coach Jack Del Rio will entertain protests on his sideline. The truth of the matter is that protesting is a freedom of speech and we can't tell the players to stop doing it. Even though many people don't like what the NFL players are protesting, we have to defend the American freedom so we don't ruin it for everyone else. At the same time, that doesn't mean anyone needs to give them a million dollar contract. NFL players' protests are actions which come with consequences. No one has to hire you if they don't want to. If Lynch performs poorly, then you can bet he's getting cut to make room for someone else. The NFL season begins in a few weeks and Pernick is still unemployed. Was his protest worth it? Is it worth it for Marshawn Lynch to protest the national anthem? What is he gaining by doing so? What is he doing? Besides disrespecting America and our soldiers, he's probably not gaining any new fans, but he could certainly be losing some. Marshawn Lynch is a great NFL running back, but to see him protest or and bring politics into sports just makes me shake my head. Just turn your millions, take care of your family, and move on. Protesting the flag on television doesn't change anything. Is this good or bad for his image? If he performs poorly on the field and the team owner wants to make changes, then guess who might get kicked off first? Some NFL owners don't like to lose money on players who don't provide a return on investment. Considering Lynch is coming out of retirement to lead the pack of Raider rushers, there's a good chance he won't play well anyway. People will call that karma for his protest, but it's really due to his physicality. If we're going to trash Lynch during the season, then let's do it for the right reason which are his statistics that we'll keep a night on. Like I said another time, Lynch could score 10 plus touchdowns and all the Raiders fans wouldn't care if he was protesting the flag. Anyone calling him out now better call him out later for it, otherwise you're a two-faced dolt who doesn't stand by your convictions. NFL players are taking a stand, and it should not be surprising to see Raiders running back Marshawn Lynch sitting on the bench during the National Anthem for the second straight week. Lynch sat during the National Anthem before the first Raiders preseason game, although Jack Del Rio later claimed this is something Lynch has done throughout his career. 
there is some question about the accuracy of that, and there is a history of Del Rio not supporting such solid statements. Last week, Lynch didn't actually play, he was suited up this week and had his first carry for the Raiders since leaving retirement to join Oakland's roster. Lynch avoided every question about sitting during the anthem when asked by reporters. Watch. Marshawn Lynch has a few possible storylines ahead of him. Continue protesting the national anthem and play poorly, get cut, and lose future millions. Continue protesting the national anthem and play well, earn a contract extension, and two betrayer fans overlook the anthem and prove they're not true patriots. His best option is to play well, stop protesting, and continue promoting positive vibes instead of protests. Lynch can make a huge impact for his team and his fans, but what will he do when the season begins? What will Marshawn Lynch do when the games count and people are really watching him like a hawk? The NFL is filled with criminals. Do we really need protesters too? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe Breaking News 365 channel. Goodbye and see you again.